Varsity Claw, welcome back to another classic. It's been a little bit since we visited the Louisville Badgers, but you know what? It's playoff time, baby. It's time to get the show going. Our matchup is going to be the Chicago Bulls, who are the number four seed in the season. They got Lonzo, they got Zach Levine, they got DeRozan, they got Kate Love, they got Vucevic. A lot of people that are there in real life are still there. And then they've got a very deep and talented bench that is going to make this be a very difficult, difficult series. Now, we talked about it a little bit in the last video, but we're basically going to a 10 man rotation because that'll help us out. And then if we need to, we'll go down to nine or figure out where to go from there. But this is what we got. Cole Anthony, Kevin Porter Jr., Jimmy Battier, uh, Theo Nagambo, uh, Shingun, who's been an absolute stud in most games. We'll give him obviously the starting nod. Then we have Poole, Heald, Kuzma, uh, Jay Sean Tate, and then Zach Collins off the bench. Yes, we have some players that have been contributing that are not going to be playing, but again, that feels like the best opportunity for us to keep our guys on the floor and ultimately win these games. The Bulls are an absolutely tough matchup, but look, the way our squad has been playing, I know we had you know a couple of stumbles there at the end of the season. I really like what we got. Oh, Battier pumps up top, pulls, and ultimately it's not going to go. DeRozan trying to get to the bucket. We leave a guy in the corner, and that's going to be immediately in. Okay, the Bulls are for real. That was Levine hitting that big shot there. Porter Jr. Him and Levine's going to be a really fun matchup to watch this entire series. I like Ngombo being able to take down Kevin Love, though. That is going to be a matchup that I think is going to go in our favor more often than not. And Ngombo shows him exactly what he's doing this series. Now, Chicago does have an early lead here, but again, I'm not, not concerned at all. Ooh, Battier gets him. Yeah. That's my shooting guard. Well, I guess technically Battier is more of a small forward who, or a shooting guard who plays small forward, but he's still a shooting guard in heart, okay? A little two point lead for Chicago. Lonzo trying to do something up top against Cole. We leave Vucevic wide open. Shingun, though, so he's back out pretty quickly. Levine pulls up a contested shot against Porter Jr. and it goes in. Yeah, Levine's definitely going to be a problem today. We'll do our best to work out, but I don't really love <laughs> that matchup for us at all. Shingun with the rock up top. We're bringing in Gombo to the high post. Again. The drop step is lethal, and I don't think K-Love can stop that at all. And Gabo might have a career high tonight. We haven't even really seen much from DeRozan today. It's been Levine who's trying to go to the bucket right here. And okay, this is going to be tough. Our team is definitely battling back. We got a four point game, but I feel like we just keep jinxing ourselves with big buckets. Pulls the game. Only two rebounds for him. Hasn't really scored. I think he can be definitely a really good threat for us coming off the bench. But hey, we get Lonzo in foul trouble. He's got two now. That could be a big dub. Most of our starters are back in the game. Cole Anthony included, who has not scored similar to Poole, but he's going to try to get to the bucket here against Kate Love and A. We'll go to the foul line all day. All right, Cole Anthony, see if you can make these. We're down six. First one's cash money. Yes, the first foul we saw on Kevin Love. Cole Anthony misses one from the line. I thought he was going to hit that. Double screen sent up. We're trying to get out a little bit. Lonzo has been really good. They go up top, and Levine is having a career night. Okay, the Bulls mean bits. I think if we're going to be a big part of this game, we got to be hitting our threes. That means Battier's got to be heavily involved. Cole Anthony, they'll go into the bucket. And hey, two hand slam from Cole. Let's, let's not be playing. Batty and DeRozan's a really good matchup, though. We might have switched him to Levine if it's more so Levine that's going off like this night after night. And looking at Gombo come over. Great help defense from him the entire time. Love what he's doing right there. Batty is going to pull. Got him a Hezzy. Swings it back around. They close out pretty quickly, though. Porter Jr. Go pump fake on Levine. We're not really going to go to that. His post game's not super great. Got a screen super late. You just had to chuck one up at that point. It's not going to be good. Levine in traffic in transition pulls up. Porter Jr. is there, and this time he's going to miss one. Thank God. Porter Jr. is out here in the perimeter. I like what he's got, but we're a little late on that one, and it's not going to have any chance to go in. Bulls are starting to pull away a little bit. It's obviously what we were a little afraid of. But I'm going to let Shangun let it fly. The big fella can shoot. We just got to get one of those to go in, and then we'll get that confidence up. Out here in the perimeter, they can get back out top. Uh, for whatever reason, we have Shangun guarding Zach Levine, and that might be. Something I see in my nightmares for two decades from now. We absolutely got shook by Lonzo. He misses that one up top, though, which should have been a bunny, in my opinion. Cole Anthony doing his best. He's got a trailer in Battier. I mean, they're giving Battier room. He went in for a two, but again, it's money. Anthony's having a good game. Yes, he was a little slow to get those points on the board, but seven, three, and two. Not mad at that at all. Shangun against Patrick Williams was a little bit better. White goes up. Porter Jr. is trailing pretty hard on that, but still enough of a defensive effort to make a stop. Cole's going to try to blow right by him. He's got Lonzo on the move. He goes up with the right, and that's going to go in for his ninth of the game. Shingo playing good defense and Williams. He's going to miss that one. Hey, I don't care who it is. And Gombo, whoever, getting that rebound. I love to see it. Battier. Trying to go in. Probably should have shot the three, in my opinion, but 
Hindsight's 20 20. Oh no, we left him wide open. That's White pulling, and he's not gonna miss. First half's almost done. Chicago's holding on to a nice little lead. We want to get it under double digits. That's really our goal right now. But Lonzo's gonna hold for pretty much the last shot. He's got Vucevic to his right. Probably gonna have a high screen set up here. They do go forward. Vucevic goes down low. We got multiple guys there, but I mean, that's a walking bucket. Five seconds left. Getting up here to pull. Pulls and trying to get to the bucket around Lonzo. It's going to be difficult. The layup is in and out. And we're down 13 going in halftime. I pictured maybe losing in this first half, but not like this. Picking up here in the third quarter. Levine has been, I think, the biggest problem. Our inability to really guard him has been crucial. And then just the inability to hit threes right now is also massively detrimental to how we're trying to play. Connell's in the game. We stop him up top. They kick back out here to Levine, who again... If we can just shut down Zach Levine, I like our chances a lot more. No one else is really stepping up the same way that Levine is. We're trying to keep guys on. We don't know who to put on him at this point. He dumps it down to Vucevic with a disgusting and one pass, and it's money. Porter Jr. had a really rough game. We can't really figure out his shot like we usually do, and it's honestly hurting us the most. He's trying to get a little drive here. McConnell steps over, and again, we miss an easy one down low, but we kick this one back out. Cole Anthony looks for the screen. McConnell's trying to hassle him, but look, if we can get Cole Anthony in the bucket and getting some shots going, that's fine, because they'll double him eventually. Oh, no. We left the Rosen open. We got back. Jimmy Battier, a very threatening defender, comes over to help, and that one's going to be off the rim. Only six and five so far for Ngombo. You imagine you would have more. Porter Jr. Sees Battier underneath. Battier trying to give Vucevic to miss something, and we, we didn't get the foul, but Battier has 15. Him and Cole Anthony are really carrying us offensively. The biggest thing we're trying to do, honestly, though, is just get them into foul trouble. It has not worked. K-Love's pulling a three. They finally miss a three. It feels like forever, and we left that man wide open. But if we can get this team into foul trouble, things are so much easier. Bruh. I honestly didn't think we were going to be 700 feet back on that one, so that's an L as well. Levine driving again. Battier right there. Great move by Levine, and it's an easy shot for him. Porter Jr., I just want to get him going, man. It just sucks to see him in this much of a struggle. Levine's played great defense on him as well, which hasn't helped. Adier's been strong. Adier's going to try to go in. Thank you. Unfortunately, turns it over. A bounce pass would have been so much better. And then we left Levine in open. This is not good. Coming back in this game is going to be challenging. I wouldn't call it over. It's just... Ooh, nice move by Jordan Poole. Didn't get as far as he wanted, though. I see Collins trying to get Vucevic in some sort of foul trouble. Can't quite get anything. He gets the A of one, though. Hey, look, that's what I want. Vucevic's first foul of the game comes in the late third quarter. I'll take it. Collins trying to get the old-fashioned three-point play. Love a big fellow that can shoot shots. The lead is a 13. It has been worse. It can be better. We are just trying to stay here. And... These are the toughest shots we've ever forced them into, but somehow they're nearly almost all going in. Poole can't get there quite. Buddy Heels had a pretty solid game, too. Jay Sean Tate, not a, not a lot of shooters in the game for us right now. They're playing excellent defense. We're shooting the shot that's contested, and we have no shot of getting that one in. I mean, it's lockdown defense by the Bulls. Collins guarding Lonzo. What is this lineup right now? We're absolutely getting torched. We got guys guarding the wrong people. We got mismatches all over the floor. I just don't know. I mean, Lonzo's pulling that. Really? Okay. Th thank you. We'll take it. Pull again with the rock. Trying to get to the bucket. He does think it's a one-handed flush for his 13th of the game. We're trying to close this quarter out strong. It's been difficult. Why? We're leaving. Just, I have no words. What are we doing here? Five and a half left in the fourth. Kevin Porter Jr. still on a cold streak. You hate to see that. Kuzma in the game, trying to work a little give and go. What? And Kevin Love is the greatest defender of all time. Oh no, Kobe White in the corner. We pull him for a contestant one. I mean, they're missing shots. We're forcing them to miss some, but it's just, we just can't catch a break quite yet. Kuzma out here, getting down to Ngambo. Ngambo's the guy we should have been going at a lot more this game. What a move, what a move. I think if there's one thing we've learned from game one, it's that we're probably going to put Battier on Zach Levine. Uh, I don't really think DeRose is going to be as big of a factor. It's Levine that's really killed us, and he's going to have a career high tonight. Cole Anthony getting to the bucket again. I mean, he's been a problem. We haven't really used him enough in that one-on-one, -on -one, but he's been a problem against Lonzo. Battier doing his best to put some offensive production up here for the squad. We're letting Gombo pull, and yeah, the releases are not looking pretty. This game hurts. 
we came out thinking we were going to have an opportunity to steal one on the road, but Chicago's going to be a tough team. Defensively, we have to do better. Offensively, we got to hit some shots, and we just can't let Zach Levine pop off like he did tonight. Recapping the stats, Zach Levine had 34, 6, and 6, but Vucevic chiming in with 25, 8, and 5. Kobe White came in with 21, 7, and 4 off the bench. I mean, we were bleeding defensively, and they just couldn't be stopped. On our side, Batty A shot, I think, okay, but the turnovers definitely killed us. 24 and 2 for him with five turnovers. Uh, Cole Anthony had 18, 4 and 3. Uh, we see Jordan Poole with 16 off the bench, and Goon had a double double, but he healed at 12 and 4. I regret not going to Ngambo more because he was absolutely putting everybody in a blender, and he was great defensively. It's just. We got to work some of our assignments around a little bit differently. So the biggest change we're making is that wherever Zach Levine is, Jimmy Batty is going to be guarding him. Is he going to shut him down? No, but it's going to make it really difficult for him to be able to get some buckets out there. Absolutely. We're picking up here early and things are going a little bit better at the start of this game. We figured out somewhat how to get this matchup going. We learned a lot about Chicago in game one, but DeRozan now is trying to take over. It definitely does feel like whoever Kevin Porter Jr. is guarding, they're going to go at him a lot. He obviously struggled in that first game. He didn't really get what he needed. He had a guy pretty much wide open there, but just couldn't get right by him. Daddy again up top, taking his time. Overshoots a little bit, but it still goes in. He's off to a hot start with eight. Levine versus Battier is the matchup I'm caring about right now. We made a massive trade towards the end of the deadline to make sure we got Battier. And look, he's a massive part of our future as well. We need that dude to just dominate time and time again. Shangun playing great defense, but Levine can't get that one to drop. You love to see it. We're sending bodies at him. Porter Jr. trying to get hot here, pulls up. You know what? I'll take it. It's better than what some of his other shots look like. Lonzo resets, trying to get something going here. We're playing mostly good defense, but Shangun's in the passing lane, but Vucevic still gets that to go in. Our second units come in, man, and they're playing so well. You love to see this. Pool and company. Oh no, TJ McConnell is a literal thief and forces a turnover right as we're giving our team a compliment. He makes that play happen. Collins though, with great defense as Kobe White tries to drive in and we get the ball immediately back. Jordan Poole, great move on McConnell, but McConnell was right there, but it don't matter. Poole gets his first of the game. The Bulls are shooting 33%, which is a massive reason why they're down double digits. And we know that's not going to last for very long, but we've got to do as much as we can to make sure we get the offensive lead here because we don't want them to have a chance to come back. We need a massive lead and we got to hold on to it, kind of like what they did against us last game. Kuzma in the corner. Not super fast there. Gets it right back out. Buddy healed once that screen doesn't quite get anything that's really useful. Kuzma back here again. We're going to let Kuzma try to do a drop step. Not as good as Ngambo there. And that one, hey, it goes in. That's all the cares I care about. We had one of our best offensive quarters, and we started off really good here in the second quarter so far. And we're back trying to lock them up. Oh, no. we just, Our rotations are looking horrible. Lonzo gets in. They got guys in the corner. It's Levine. We're trying to make sure Battier's on him. We got guys just not playing defense at all because we're scrambling. And somehow still they don't get a bucket. Cole Anthony setting the offense up. Had a guy kind of leaning there. DeRose is not playing super tight on Battier. I'll take the chances. Nope. I'll still take that every time. They're pulling him here with DeRose, and he's a spin move on Shangun. Shangun, though, locking him up for a big fella. He's got some pretty good feet. He can move. Oh, we had Battier, but we wanted to. Oh, no, we got it. We threaded the needle on that one. We're going to reset. Oh, you fouling my guy? What are you doing? Vucevic is coming in. Oh, Cole Anthony going baseline. No, we thought he had a layup. He doesn't get it. Porter Jr., though, gets the rebound. And look at him. He's at nine. He's playing much better right now. Chicago's in a blender. I mean, really, with Zach Levine not being able to score as much, they have been struggling to keep up right now. I don't know why Ngambo's guarding DeRozan, but it's not my first preference, I would say, for sure. But they just cannot buy a bucket, and we're absolutely benefiting because of it. Cole Anthony trying to get Lonzo leaning. He got him moving a little bit. So to swing that one back up top and Gombo, we don't want him exactly shooting that one. Yeah, I'm respecting Batty at all. I'm going to let him shoot that. You give him some room, he's going to absolutely make you pay. And this is exactly what we want to do. Steal a game in Chicago. We tried to do it in game one. Obviously, it didn't work out at all. We ended up losing by 20 plus points. Cole Anthony getting a nice little bump still here. He's got Vucevic behind him. That's going to be an, an athletic dunk. Cole Anthony might have had one of my least favorite dunk contest performances of all time. But you know what? That dunk mattered and I'll take it. Lonzo trying to get to the bucket here. We got Ngambo switching over on him. We're trying to play defense. Cole Anthony does a really good job of rotating on that. They go back to Vucevic with Shingun guarding him. Tough little matchup. And look, Vucevic, that dude just gets buckets. Nice screen here. Cole Anthony hits him with a step back. And what a shot on that one to get it to drop. Cole Anthony's trying to take over right now. Thank God. I just cannot believe how good Chicago played in game one and how abysmal they're playing in game two right now. And Ngambo, you called a foul on that? No shot. He's got three, and that's big. Throws the bulls up for the first one. 
gets that one to drop. Look, and has been a really good reason why they haven't got as many shots inside because he's contesting anything and everything, as well as Shingun, who's done a great job too. But four seconds left, we have the ball back. Buddy Heal is trying to make something happen. He pulls up a wildly contested shot that is not going to go in, but we have a 70 to 45 lead. So might let Chicago know it's the playoffs because they fell asleep after game one. Chicago's had a really rough start between foul trouble and not hitting shots and just falling asleep. Like to me, it feels like they really had a strong game one. They dominated that game pretty much from tip off to the end and they fell asleep at the wheel and that's not good for them right now. They're missing all these shots. I mean, again, our seven footers are down there doing what they need to do when you love to see it. One in Ngambo. He's got DeRose on the block. That is barbecue chicken all night long. Little clutch there, and he's not going to hit it, but he gets his own rebound. Says, excuse me. I got an easy one right after. Theo and Gombo is so criminally underrated. Yes, he doesn't have the crazy stats everybody wants to go ahead and compare, but the impact he has, his plus or minus, is just great nonstop. You'd love to see you love to have a player like that. Well, you don't love to have a player wide open on for three, and that's Kobe White drilling that one. Still a massive lead, and barring something dumb, we should be able to walk out here with an easy W. And look at Kevin Porter Jr. This is what I needed him to come alive, because game one, the man was asleep. The big thing for us, though, we cannot fall asleep just like the Bulls did here coming in this game. If we win this game, which I think we're on pace to do, game three's got to be a strong one as we go back home. Daddy back out here. They're guarding him a whole lot more closely than they were before because before they gave that man all the room in the world. He steps behind the screen, pulls up, and it's not going to drop. A little pick and roll coming. Gobble's going to help set that one. Cole Anthony. I mean, this man's having a great game right now. 16, not really getting anybody else involved, but offensively, he's been great. Our team has put up 100 points, and we're in the third quarter. Chicago has just completely fell flat. All the energy they've expelled in the first game maybe ruined them a little bit. Gombo picking up on Kobe White, but White is going to finally get a bucket to drop. Our defensive switches and the matchups have been great. Jordan Poole has been phenomenal so far today. Buddy Heel pulling, and it's off still. Oh no, in the corner is Kobe White again, and this time he misses. It's a close one. Kuzma coming to set a screen for Poole. Poole comes in. Oh, somehow we got that one back. I have no idea how it ended up in our hands. Kuzma's got to chuck one up, put the pink sweater on, because that one's not going in. As comfortable as we felt coming into the fourth quarter, Chicago's back. I mean, they've cut this lead to 13. It was massively different not too many minutes ago, and, well, here we are struggling. And Gombo, no. I think he tweaked himself a little bit. No way he should have did that as a layup. That should have been a nasty dunk. And Gombo's guard Alonzo. Don't exactly love that matchup. Buddy healed on Zach Levine again. Not ideal either. We need to make sure that we get Jimmy Battier back over. Dean only has 15. I mean, think about how much he torches for in game one. This has been a really big difference so far for him in game two. Oh, Anthony pulling the three. That should be cash money. And he misses that one. We got to hit those shots. We cannot let Chicago back in this game. Love's absolutely gassed right now. They got multiple guys sitting in the paint. We have the right guy guarding Zach Levine, though. Great defense from Battier. He's keeping his hands high. That's an absolute prayer thrown up. We're going to see Kuzma get that rebound his fifth of the afternoon. Oh, Anthony's got a lot of movement here. They left Cole in the corner. That's contested, but they end up fouling him. TJ McConnell, this third foul of the game. He's been so good. He plays such good defense, but he made a big mistake there to hopefully let our guys get some shots to fall and feel a little bit better. First one's going to drop here for Cole Anthony. Second one, cash money as well. Can he hit all three? Get a three-pointer the hard way. You already know. Two and a half minutes left, a 14-point lead. It would take a monumental collapse for us to go ahead and give this game up. Gombo's playing great defense again. Levine cannot find his shot. He used the ball as good luck points in that first matchup. Oh, Anthony got in Gombo. He's trying to get himself a double-double here. K-Love's been really good against him so far this game, but still, Gombo's having a lot of impact on defense. I feel like he's just figuring out what Gombo's trying to do, but it don't matter. 11-11 and 11 on a tough contested shot. Oh, here to Vucevic and Goon. Good double-double for him. He goes up, and I mean, Vucevic man is just going to get it all the time. Minute 40 left. They're full court pressing. They're in absolute desperation. Cole Anthony just gets the ball up the court. We'll be fine. Run your offense. Trust your team. We'll be okay here. Cole Anthony going right at Vucevic man, but that's going to be off. And all of a sudden, Chicago knows. They need some shots quick, but they're not out of this one just yet. Oh, no. Levine breaks us down. We foul him. But look, I'm here with that foul, Kevin Porter Jr. Don't let him get an easy bucket. Put him on the line. Make him earn that one. Don't let him get his rhythm. First one's in for Levine. We're down by 13. This will cut it to 12. And he gets that one to hit. We're trying to play smart here. Don't get yourself into a double team. Let Shangun run it for a second and get it right back to your point guard. Oh, 
all the time in the world now. I'll take Cole Anthony going at him. Yep, I'd rather have Cole Anthony going up for free throws than I would Shangoon. As good as Shangoon's been, I trust Cole Anthony more to hit these. 20th point of the night. He's one for four from three. He's definitely struggled there, but the lead's back to 13. We're trying to seal the deal on the road. We need to steal one of these games. We couldn't get game one. Game two might as well be ours. Chicago very quickly has to be what we call chucking mode, where threes have to be their utmost priority. They're going to get to the bucket. Shangoon, great defense on Levine. He's not going to get that one hit. We're going to get the rebound and push the tempo a little bit. We don't have to do anything crazy. But I mean, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Daddy A trying his best. Could have hit a spin. Chills on that one. Back to Cole Anthony again. As much time as we can waste the clock, it feels like Chicago <laughs> kind of knows. And then I think we just got a charge. We did. I mean, the charge isn't the worst thing in the world because we wasted a whole lot of time. Chicago doesn't really have any opportunities here. They're going to chuck one up. It's what they probably should have been doing a little bit ago, but they're going to ultimately see that the path of a loss is right here. Cole has been so good. McConnell has honestly played really good defense, but it's not been good enough as Cole gets 23 on the night. And so with that, we're going to walk out here with a 116 and 100 W. You'd love to see it. Cole Anthony's all smiles, and he should be. He played great today, and defensively, our team was so much better. We locked up Levine. They couldn't really get things going, and because of that, got this series tied up 1-1. Recapping the stats, Vucevic was super effective today, 24-12 and 6, with two steals and two blocks. He was the MVP on their side of the ball for sure. We held Levine to 17 on 6 for 14 shooting. I cannot stress him being 6 for 14 from shooting takes him out of the flow of the offense, can't let him get those runs, and makes us have a much better, easier day. On our side, Cole Anthony was tied for a leading scorer with 23, super effective from 7 for 13 from the field tonight. You see Battier go 23, 5, 2, and 2. Again, his defensive effort cannot be stressed enough. He had Levine in an absolute blender all night, both sides of the ball. Porter Jr. played so much better, shot 7 for 12 on 17 points. Poole always giving us great uh, stuff off the bench with 13. Shingun had 12 and 12, and Gombo had 11 and 12 out there as well. You love to see Louisville play the way that they were playing. But look, it's a 1 1 series. It ain't over just yet. We got to play good in game three because if we don't, things get a whole lot more difficult. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys on the next one.